Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm gonna review. Well, not really a review. It's a grind. It's a grinding video. This is a Don Pablo product called Pablo's Pride. This is a Guatemala um, coffee. Let's see, medium dark roast, medium body, low acidity, non-GMO, 100% Arabica coffee. Freshly harvested and roasted, small roasted batches. Rich, low acidity, and smooth. These coffees are considered to be a gourmet coffee. You can see Don Pablo and his esposa. His, uh, Esposa, Eliana, his real name is Darren, but, okay, so yeah, hold me, I'm going to grind, grind up some for a, uh, a soon tasting video. I have my <clears throat> my brother in from out of town, in from in from Colorado, here doing a job, and he is a coffee fan, and I think I'm gonna let him check some of these out too. Oh, wow. It has a nice aroma. It's... It's, um... It's got a... It's, it's a strong aroma. Um, not so much as rich as what the uh, Brazil Cerrado was. But it still smells good. It's got a sweetness to it. This is just my first impression of the of the whole bean. <clears throat> yeah, it smells good. Let's see. The container that I'm putting it in this time is a seal tight um, rubber made container. It's not as big as what the other one was that I did the other day, so don't want to put in too much and not have enough room for it all. Let's go right. Oh, I saved it. Let's go right. Let's go right there. So what I've found is that, I think I usually say this on like the tasting part, um, but uh, there, you know, there's three levels of, of, of aromas. There's the aroma you get on the whole bean, there's the aroma you get on the ground, and then there's aroma you get after you brew it. Um, so what I got on the whole bean after I grind it, it, uh, well, you're releasing the aromas when you grind it, so the aroma is going to be more intensified. Maybe same the same as what I said, smelling it out of the bag, but it may be just stronger on the aroma.
Oh, wow. Wow. That released a lot. A lot of aroma. More than what I thought. Oh, that was perfect. Oh yeah, pretty much the same aromas I got, uh, just more, more intensified, more strong. You do get a richness now on the ground. Wow, that smells good. Don't try this at home. That there's no blades or anything up there. This is just the the exit point of the uh, of the coffee. Just making sure I get it all out of there. The other one I did, I, I did this too, and um, a whole bunch came out. It was just kind of stuck up in there. All right, one more time. All right. Yeah, that smells really, really good. Almost has a, well, the other one had kind of a, like a sweet, nutty aroma. This one does too. The other one had just a little bit of a, almost a fruity kind of, uh, of a thing going on. It was so sweet on the aroma. This one here, it's there a little bit, but not, not as big as what that Brazil Serrata was. This smells really good, though. All right. Okay. Looking to see if there's anything else I want to read on here. No, I'll read some on the tasting part. But uh, there you go. I thank you for watching. I appreciate it. We will see you on the next one. Thank you to uh, Darren Burke and Eliana, his wife, for sending me these coffees. I appreciate that, and we will see you on the next one.